because you mourn and you grieve off of that. I mean, it really took me months to get over it. I was really, but you got over that and then you prayed and you cried, asked God why, and then he or he's blessing you. Now you're telling me, God, you're blessing me with too much. How can we take care of this many babies? I was looking at my relationship will never be the same. My life will never be the same. Never. And it was really hard, very hard um, to comprehend and to know what would happen next. But then when you see their beautiful faces, you know, it just makes you feel like, wow, I'm really a father. Mm -hmm. And the amount of kids you have, you don't pay that much attention to them because you realize all oh, these beautiful babies, these healthy babies are mine. Good morning, boys. Get on up, boy. You gotta go to school. There you go. Stretch those muscles. Oh, you're like a baby. <laughs> It's an experience and it's difficult and challenging and it's, you know, you have the fear and then you have the, the, the nervousness, but then you also have that excitement, you have that joy, you have that love. Love. Hey. <laughs> they say, how do you do it? I'm like, how do you do it? Like, I got love. I got, I get kisses times six and hugs times six and I mean, literally. If I failed, yeah. let me say this, if I failed in something, at something that day and I come home feeling sorry for myself, them kids and their eyes looking at me and telling me, Mommy, you are the best mom in the world. They sing their yes. song. They motivate us. They motivate us. Just clap for Mommy. Just, just tell Mommy we love you. Mommy, we love you. Aww. So we love you so much. Yeah, you so you're the best mommy in the world. You made a mommy in the world. It took me forever to get pregnant. It seemed like 10 years. I never mm -hmm. got pregnant, mm -hmm. period. And then, um, and then my, when I finally got pregnant, I lost twins. And then now to be given a chance at motherhood, why would I complain?